Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Smart Market Insights here on Calkine TV. I'm Rose Jacobs, and today we'll be shining light on a looming shortage of urea, a key product used to help fuel trucks and transport vital for delivery of essential items right across the country. Without it, we could be facing a national crisis. So today we're taking a look at Australia's plans to scale up urea manufacturing with Insitec Pivot. Thank you for joining me. The global shortage of urea has forced Australia to search for new mineral sources. As a result, the Australian trucking industry has been in constant fear of shutting down amid zero new suppliers of AdBlue. Last week, the Australian federal government announced that it had approached Middle Eastern countries for help while urging businesses to avoid stockpiling AdBlue stocks and essential fluid to reduce pollution from diesel engines. Indonesia has offered to provide 5,000 tonnes of refined urea in January, enough to make around one month's worth of AdBlue, Trade Minister Dan Tian said on Monday. He added shipping companies would prioritise the loading of urea and AdBlue that are already on their way to Australia. In addition, the worsening logistics conditions are predicted to see relief as the federal government has struck a deal with fertiliser manufacturer Insitec Pivot to increase the local production of urea significantly. The company will design and scale up manufacturing significant quantities of technical grade urea for the domestic market. Last month, Insitec had announced plans to halt its manufacturing operations in Brisbane by the end of financial year 22, which supplies almost 10% of the Australian AdBlue market. However, Australia has been warned not to rely on only one plant for producing urea. Under the agreement, Insitec Pivot will scale up manufacturing of technical grade granular urea, or TGU, a critical component of diesel exhaust fluid known as AdBlue, Federal Energy Minister Angus Taylor said in a statement. Diesel exhaust fluid is made from urea and is used to curb nitrogen oxides emissions. Taylor said, Australia currently has adequate stocks of AdBlue on hand, but this agreement will enable supply of an AdBlue product to domestic manufacturers to ensure current supply chain disruptions don't impact on Australian businesses. The Australian Trucking Association earlier this month raised concerns about the looming shortage of AdBlue, which it said could hit trucking operations and threaten goods transportation, prompting authorities to ask Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar and Japan for urea. Let's take a very short break and we'll be back in just a moment with plenty more. Hi there, James Preston for Calkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Calkind's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Calkind TV. Welcome back, I'm Rose Jacobs and you're watching Smart Market Updates. Still on news of urea shortages and it's predicted the ramping up of TGU production by Insitec Pivot will not impact agricultural fertiliser supply to local farmers or disrupt local distribution chains for AdBlue, according to Federal Energy Minister Angus Taylor. Australia imports about 80% of its urea needs, with most of the remainder produced by Insitec Pivot. Prices for urea, also widely used as a fertiliser, have surged more than 200% this year amid rising demand and lower supply, while some countries have begun rationing AdBlue as panic buying by drivers has worsened the shortage. <laughs> 
The world is currently facing a shortage of urea, a key ingredient found in AdBlue, which is injected into the exhaust systems of modern diesel vehicles to reduce emissions and is also a large component in fertiliser. Transport and agriculture industries warn that without it, trucks could be unable to transport essential items such as fresh food to supermarkets. China, which previously supplied 80% of Australia's urea supplies, recently halted exports to boost supplies domestically. In a statement, the company said it had committed to undertake a manufacturing assessment to produce technical grade urea and expand AdBlue production at its Gibson Island plant in Brisbane. We're very pleased our domestic manufacturing expertise can be mobilised and we're working together with the federal government to expand supply of this critical material that we all rely on to keep Australia moving, Incitec Pivot Chief Executive Jean Johns said. The company said it was working quickly to build additional storage capacity with the support of key partners including IOR. Last month, Incitec Pivot had announced it would stop its manufacturing operations at its Gibson Island plant by the end of next year. The company, which supplies around 10% of the Australian market for AdBlue, said it was unable to secure long-term affordable gas supply. It said the remaining 90% of the Australian AdBlue market is reliant on imports of technical grade urea. The government said it had been working with manufacturers and shipping companies to ensure shipments of urea and AdBlue that are already on their way to Australia get priority for loading and delivery. Shipping companies have been helpful in prioritising the loading of a number of containers coming through Singapore to ensure that supplies arrive in Australia as soon as possible, Mr Taylor said. But that's it for now. Stay tuned for more Calkine updates right throughout the day. I'm Rose Jacobs. Thanks for joining me.